Today at Hot Shot Repair, we made this broken iPhone 6 look like new again. We're going to start by removing the two pentalobe screws from the bottom of the phone. We remove them and then set them aside. Now we use a pry tool to lift up on the bottom of the screen and separate it from the frame. Then use a Phillips screwdriver to remove the two Phillips screws from the battery connector cover. These screws are different sizes, so you're going to want to keep them organized. After they're removed, you can remove the cover and set it aside with the screws. We unplug the battery and then move up to the LCD connector cover. This has five screws that are all different sizes, so you're going to want to keep them organized as well. After the screws are removed, you can set the cover aside. Now we're going to unplug the home button flex cable, the LCD, the digitizer, and the proximity sensor flex cables. We're going to set the frame aside and move on to the ear speaker bracket. This has three screws that need to come out. Um, they're all different sizes again, so pay attention to what you're doing and keep them organized. Once the screws are free, you can just remove the bracket and set it aside with the screws. Lift up on the front camera, remove the ear speaker, and um, pry the proximity sensor off the screen's frame. Set the proximity sensor aside with the ear speaker. Then we're going to move down the, the screen by removing the th six screws that hold the LCD backplate on. These screws are all the same size, so you can just put them in a pile on your mat. After those are free, we're going to move on to the, the bottom screw in the LCD backplate, set it aside, and remove the two screws holding the home button bracket on. Set the home button bracket up with the screws, unplug the home button, pry the home button flex cable off of the screen's frame, and then lift up on the home button. It should come free. Now we need to pry the home button bridge off of the frame. To do that we just use a pry tool and lift up on it. And then the back plate comes off easily. With the old screen removed we're going to use a piece of packing tape here to get the old glass, the cracked glass, off of my mat so I'm not scratching up the new screen. Use a piece of packing tape and rub it on the mat. Now we're going to grab our new screen, replace the LCD backplate, and reinstall the six screws that came out of it. Now we're going to reinstall the home button, press in on the home button bridge, reinstall the home button and plug it in. Reinstall the home button bracket. And the two screws that came out of it. We're going to reinstall the bottom screw for the LCD backplate. 
and move up to the proximity sensor. We put the proximity sensor into its plastic holder, line up the top microphone, fold over the camera, reinstall the speaker, and reinstall the bracket. We're going to put the three screws that came out of the ear speaker bracket back in. Now on this phone, aside from being bent, um, it has a swelling battery, which is very common on the iPhone 6s. Um, the battery as it ages is starting to release a gas and that gas is kind of making the plastic sheet that covers it swell up. This will press the screen off of the frame. It will cause it to uh, you know have kind of a distortion in the LCD when you press on the screen. Ultimately it may break the LCD. So um, having this bent frame and a swelling battery is kind of a double knockout for this screen. So what we're going to do is replace the old swelling battery with a new one. We're going to unwrap the new battery and set it aside. I'm going to use some adhesive strips that I use. They're as close to factory as you can get. It's the same kind of adhesive you would find um, in the original battery. To remove the adhesive from the original battery, we're just going to use a pair of tweezers to pull up on the adhesive tabs and gently pull them out from under the battery. My camera's going to probably have a fit because I'm getting close to it. I believe this is the same type of adhesive you'd see like on 3M contact adhesive that you would use to put pictures on the wall. It looks like the same type of stuff. So we're just going to remove these two adhesive strips from under the original battery. And the battery will come right out. We're going to set that battery aside to recycle it and get our new battery ready. We're going to apply our two new adhesive strips. We're going to reinstall our new battery. And fold over the tabs. We're going to plug in the digitizer, the LCD, the home button, and the proximity sensor cables. I got a little ahead of myself here. I didn't test the screen to make sure it works properly um, before fully installing it. So here you see me putting the screws back in the LCD connector cover without actually testing the screen before I install it. It's a mistake on my part. Every screen should be tested, um, but I did get ahead of myself here. I think I got distracted by installing the battery. These screens rarely fail on the iPhone 6s, so I have a lot of faith in my suppliers on this one. I really haven't had a bad iPhone 6 screen since about six, maybe six months after they came out. With the iPhone 6s being nearly about two or three years old now, I haven't had a bad screen in a really long time. 
So it's a lot of faith I'm putting in my supplier at this point. Here we see the LCD light up. Um, that's a really good sign on, in my point of view because if the LCD lights, that's the biggest battle. If you see that Apple logo, you're probably fine. So I'm going to go ahead and put the two pentalobe screws back in the frame. This frame's very bent, so what you see me doing is putting a pressure down on the bottom of the screen to kind of match up the, the holes that the pentalobe screws go into. Um, I, I warned the customer that had this phone that you're, you're going to want to get a case like a life proof or an otter box to, you know, keep debris out of it. There's going to be a gap where that frame was bent, so liquid could get in there. You're going to want to protect this phone. You know, this this repairs just to get you through until you have an upgrade. So the customer was warned at this point. That's all I have for this video. If you have an iPhone that needs repair, give me a call at 573-567-0527 or visit my website at www.hotshot.repair.